All right, we are back here now for segment three. You know, we're always trying to find new things for you to do uh, involved in nightlife over here in St. Tammany, and I've just found out about beginner tango lessons that are held at the Chifuncta Country Club. This is on Thursday nights from 7 until 9 p.m. That's Chifuncta Country Club. It's $10 per person, and you can uh, come alone or bring a partner. And these are uh, wonderful lessons with Indelethio. And Indelethio is both uh, charming and personable as well as an incredible dancer. So, uh, Chifuncta Country Club, Thursdays from 7 till 9, learn to tango. If you want any more information, uh, Indelethio can be reached at 985-630-4102. That's 630-4102. You know, there's a group here locally uh, in New Orleans known as the Chillins, C-H-I-L-L-U-N-S, uh, that's comprised of John and Darcy Malone, whose dad, Dave Malone, played with the Radiators for years, Annie Clements, whose father, Cranston Clements, we've already spoken about, and also Andre Boren, whose dad is Spencer Boren. Uh, they got together not so long ago, asked the dads to join them on stage, and uh, it's always a good time when the children's perform. Normally only one time a year, around Christmas time, when all of their schedules uh, coexist, and all of them can get back here, typically held at Tipitina's. So in this segment, we're going to be talking to Annie about uh, the Chillins and how it all started. I want to talk about the Chillins for a second. and. and- <laughs> When did the connection between you and the Malones and Andre Boren begin? Well, actually, um, the, it was sort of the brainchild of Andre and Harry Harden, who was a member of Andre's band, Johnny Sketch and the Dirty Notes, sure, great yeah. New Orleans band. Um, so Harry and I were in the Country Day Jazz Band together. <laughs> <laughs> and Harry went on to Loyola, where he met... Andre and everybody, and they started Johnny Sketch, and Harry said, you know, I went to school school with this girl, Annie, she's, her dad's really great, and your dad's really great, and why don't we try and put something together, and so um, I was still, I was at Berkeley when we did the first show, I came home uh, for Christmas break, and we tried to throw this thing together, and, you know, it was just like, me and my dad, uh, Johnny and Darcy Malone and their dad, Dave Malone, it's the Radiators. And then Andre and his dad, Spencer Boren, who is, you know, very well-renowned blues and sort of old-school slide guitar player. So between all of us, we just picked our favorite cover songs and, you know, a lot of Beatles. (laughs) And there was a lot of, of arguing between my dad and Dave Malone about how certain Beetle bridges went and certain chords, you know. <laughs> very, you know, they guard that stuff. They take it very seriously. Yeah. Um, but it was, I mean, it was great. It was like magic. And that first year, we decided um, to open the show with an a cappella version of an old spiritual called Children Go. And, uh, you know, we were terrified. We just walked out there on the stage, just the four kids got a pitch reference and just started singing the song and it was uh it was like magic i mean you could have heard a pin drop in the audience it was it was very unexpected i think for the audience and for us too so (laughs) we uh but every year after we've we sort of open with that song and it's kind of set the tone for this really really unique musical experience so this is like 2004 y'all first began I think maybe even earlier than that. It must have been. I think it was more like 2002. Yeah. Because I graduated in 03. So, yeah, I think maybe 2002 we, uh, we we took our first swing at it. Yeah. And we've tried to do it just about every year ever since. And uh, we've had the great fortune of being able to perform at Jazz Fest on the same day and the same stage uh that Sugarland performed on in uh, 2009. Quint let the Chillins open the Acura stage, and then Sugarland closed it that day. So, Neat. really, really, really special. Children, go where I send thee. Ooh, Lordy, how will I send thee? Oh, I'm gonna send thee one by one. For the one was a little bitty baby born. Children born in Bethlehem. 
Children, go where I send thee. Oh, Lordy, how will I send thee? Oh, I'm gonna send thee two by two, for the two was a Paul and Silas. One was a little bitty baby born. Children born in Bethlehem. Children, go where I send thee. Oh, Lordy, how? Send thee up. I'm gonna send thee three by three For the three was a Hebrew children Two was a Paul and Silas One was a little bitty baby born Children born in Bethlehem Children go where I send thee oh, Lordy, how will I send thee up? I'm gonna send thee four by four For the four was a four that stood at the door Three was a Hebrew children, two was a Paul and Silas, one was a little bitty baby born. Children born in Bethlehem. Children go where I send thee. Oh, Lordy, how will I send thee out? I'm gonna send thee ten by ten, for the ten was the Ten Commandments. Nine was the nine that stood in the line. Eight was the eight that waited at the gate. Seven was the seven that didn't get to heaven. Six was the six that couldn't get fixed. Oh, five my was the Lord. Five that stood in the line. Four was the four that stood at the door. Three was the Hebrew children. Two was the Paul and Silas. One was a little bitty baby born. Children born in Bethlehem. In Bethlehem, born in Bethlehem. How did you actually get to go do the audition with Sugarland? I was recommended to audition by a, a mutual friend of mine and Christian Bushes, who's one of the singers, um, a guy David Lawbreer. So. David is another, he's a, he's a Metri boy, <laughs> and he, uh, he was playing bass with John Mayer at the time. He played with John for several years. Mm -hmm. Um, but he knew Christian from way back in the day when they all, you know, were living in the Atlanta area. So when they reformed the band after Kristen Hall left at the end of 2005, everybody, you know, just kind of called in, you know, called their friends and said, hey, we're, we need a new rhythm section. Do you have any recommendations? And David recommended myself and J.J. Johnson, who uh, was also a member of John's touring band, and John was doing the trio at the time. So J.J. Uh, wasn't on the road, so we both uh, auditioned, and we both got the gig. So it was pretty pretty crazy. But, you know, it was interesting because... Um, at the time, you know, MySpace was all the, the rage. <laughs> and, uh, and so Christian had gone to my MySpace profile to check me out, you know, before he called me. And um, when I was, you know, a teenager, I was a nanny for Peter Holsapple and Susan Cowsill for their daughter. Mm -hmm. And so I got really into all of their music, the Cowsills and the Connell Drifters and Peter's old band, the DBs. Um, and Christian is a huge DB freak. Like, he, he'll sound check with a DB song, you know, I'll get up there with him and sing with him. So he comes to this, you know, this, this girl's MySpace page who knows DBs, you know, who's maybe, like, one of a 100 people who is 25 years old who might know who they are. And he's like, what the heck? So I, that was really sort of the impetus, which is just like, well, let me, let me call her and have a conversation with her. <laughs> At any rate, because this is very unusual, so it was interesting how everything kind of came full circle. And um, so, yeah, so I drove to Nashville, and I auditioned, and I had to go to a couple callbacks, and they tried me with some different drummers, and, and ended up getting the gig. And coincidentally, so did uh, Fad Baby, um, who ended up becoming my husband. <laughs> so <laughs> he auditioned on acoustic guitar, Um and he was at those same auditions that I was, you know, that I was at. We we never knew each other beforehand, and and uh, and then lo and behold. So 2005, you guys joined the band, and it was a while before um, Travis got the gig, right? Initially, 
JJ was playing drums, and then, like, about a month and a half into the gig, John called back and said, I'm putting the old band back together. So <laughs> like the Blues JJ brothers. went. Yeah. yeah, totally. So JJ went back with John. We had another drummer uh, come on the gig. And, um, you know, but Christian, and I'm sure you and Travis probably talked about this, Christian and Travis had a long history, mm-hmm. and I think he really wanted to work with Travis. And so it was probably about a year or so, year and a half into my time that Travis came on. Yeah. Um, but it's been great. I mean, it's been great to have the, the New Orleans rhythm section, uh, you know, holding down the fort out there. We have so much fun. But, <laughs> so, you, you know, look, you spend most of your time, what, about three, four days a week you're on a bus, right? When you guys are on the road, which is most of the year. Yeah, I mean, really, it's become very manageable at this point. We do about three shows a week, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you get on the bus at midnight, Wednesday night, and then you basically get dropped off Sunday morning. So I'm home for four days a week so I can, you know, do laundry yeah. <laughs> and uh, and have friends and and uh, and also do uh, run our production company, Sorted Noise. Yeah. Are you in New York? Where are you? Uh, I am in uh, Pikeville, Kentucky <laughs> today. I was in New York. We had three days off. Um, but we have a show in Pikeville tonight. I think we're in Louisville tomorrow night, and then we go home. But, you know, it's it's there. It's country music especially. It's not like a rock tour where you're gone for, you know, months at a time and don't come home. It's it's very manageable. It's very humane. <laughs> and uh, it's just... So this is how they do it, you know, and it's great. So this tour, I mean, last tour, obviously, you know, y'all did uh, Incredible Machine, and it was just a, an extravagant production, including everything, yeah. including everything, oh, yeah. right? But but it, this... the stage was like Epcot Center. It was just like <laughs> something out of Disney World. It really was. It was like it was like being at a theme park. It was it was incredible. This is a song with Annie Clements, Travis McNabb, Cranston Clements, Jay Fiorello, and Jesse Fry called The Secret. I have a little secret I better not say I made a choice 